Hi, I'm Justin, Account Manager with Global Electronic Services. Here at Global Electronic Services, we are constantly researching to develop test equipment so that we can reliably test and repair your equipment the first time, every time. In order to reliably load tests, you have to have the ability to not only simulate, but replicate the errors that your machines are seeing in their natural environment. That's why we have engineers on staff to design and develop test stands to suit all of your needs. They're constantly developing new test stands, so we house them here in the warehouse and they're ready for the technicians whenever they're needed. Let's go to the lab and see what we're working on this month. This is one of our engineers, Bezod. Hi Justin, welcome to our lab. Why don't you tell us about some of the test stands that you've built? Actually, our, the, our test stand, what we are building as a port portable test stand for the testing all different servo drives, servo motors, and HMIs, and different type of the uh, PLCs. We can test it in here for your customer, and the, uh, for res researching for the, all different type of the uh, equipments they have, and they want it to uh, our facility for the testing their units. Okay, so one of the number one questions that I get asked from my customers is about servo technology. Can you tell us a little bit about the Siemens master drive setup that you've actually built? Of course, I can tell you about this very common problem of your customers, and we have a lot of customers for this master drive, Siemens master drives. We can test it in these racks in all the different type of the power supply, servo drive, servo uh, motors, with different type of the encoders incremental encoders, absolute encoders, or different type of the power uh, carts and the po power of the horsepower of the servo drives. We can okay. test in whole unit in this rack as a portable. Okay, so basically what you're saying is that this is designed so that any one of the technicians can come in here, take this to their test bench, and then test either the power supply or the servo drive or the servo motor or the encoder, depending on what the customers actually sent in for repair. Exactly, you said it. Uh, we, te we make this one as a portable unit, and they just a plug and play. They just plug it out and plug in, in their motors or their units in here and testing a whole different a bunch of them. And the Perfect. important things for your and for your customers, we can reprogram it for them. If they will have a their parameter, their parameters or, or their backup file, we can repro reprogram it their drives as well. That's the number one question that I get. That's important things for your customers. So is there any way you can actuate one of these servos for us? Of course, it's not too hard, uh, Justin. We can raise up the speed in here, and we can compare the speed of the RPM meter with the drive. And this gives you the ability to actually adjust the RPM. Yes, and we are all adjusting the, the RPMs in here with the drives in, in the computer. Let me show you some other things. We have the SEMO drives and stands in here. John finished it up, and uh, we can test it all different uh, spindle drives and spindle motors with the power supplies of the SEMO drive series, all different type of the cards, uh, in incremental, absolute uh, encoders. We can test it in these units, in here, in these units, and uh, for your customer, reprogram it. Oh, perfect. Aren't the SEMO drives obsolete now? We can test it all the different equipments and obsolete, obsolete equipments. Perfect. So the last time that I was down here, you were working on some safety equipment, weren't you? Yeah, this is my favorite. Let me show you and set up for you. Wow, that really is portable. We have the control panel here, and we have all different consented uh, uh, transmitter and receiver okay. of STIs and the banners to in this stand. We can set it up with all of that uh, in here and check one by one units, and you see that alarm will show up which one is working, which one is it's not working, and one by one you can see that one and check one by one LEDs in forest in here. If my customer has just one of these that's damaged, can they send in just the damaged unit or do they have to send in both the transmitter and the receiver? They can send it but just damaged units and it's not needed to send in the whole units. We can test it and set up their units in here in this uh, test stand and check one by one LEDs, all circuits and control units and we fix it for them. Perfect. Can you show us how accurate this test stand is? Of course we can. You know what? The safety uh, equipment, it's very important. If any things or any objects and ha tools and hands are uh, cut the, or break the signals, it has to shut off the machine. And uh, you, according to you see that one, uh, all the units was turned off, uh, shut down the machine. 
Okay, so out of the thousands of test stands that you've built, which one would you say is your favorite? I prefer the safety equipment because it saved the life. Okay. Hi, today we want to show you about the lens test stands and how we wanted to tell you about how we can we work it. Actually, we have it, uh, we can test it at all different type of the lenses drives, EVF series, EVS series, vector control, global control units, and exactly with all different type of the motors, we can test it in here in this is test stands. For the running mode, we can turn power, power it up and turn it on and remove the emergency stop. And check our inputs. It's working on for 80 volts, and after that, we have to check the DC bus voltage to make sure about that your bus working good. As a 680 volt DC, we have on on a drive, and actually, it's ready for the connection with our computer. No faults, and everything was look like it's good. We can run the start and enable the drives, and we can choose the backward or forward rotation for our drives. And actually, we ha in, you can see and we can control the speed, speed in here and check the RPMs. And it is a good reference for checking inside with our units inside, uh, inside of the computer. We can check the RPMs and diagnose all actual information of the computer in your running mode. And actually, we can check the inputs and outputs amps and make sure it's work fine without any low fading units. Here is it's a 10 amps, and yes, 10 amps in here is up for inputs and outputs units too. And there it is, this is one of our lens test stands. Because we're constantly developing new test stands, we have the capability to design and implement a test stand to meet all repair needs across any industry. Keep in mind, we have an 18 month in-service warranty live customer support 24 seven. We won't let anybody beat our pricing with our 10% price guarantee, and we have completely free evaluations. Call us today at 877-249-1701.